<clears throat> Hi, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to export models properly from Softimage into UDK. I'll go over it quickly for those more familiar with the software, then I'll go into more detail about what everything is and why. Alright, I'm going to go through this pretty fast, so for those of you who are not familiar, just bear with me, I'll explain everything in just a bit. First off, I'm going to import my model. Alright, there it is. And um, I'm going to be resizing this in just a bit. Uh, for everybody, pay attention. Uh, whenever you're resizing it and you're going to, to um, export your model, make sure that you're not sizing this stupid little null target or reference point for the model. Um, it'll mess everything up. Just try to keep that unselected so you don't run into any issues and you're only scaling and resizing your actual object. Alright. Uh, first thing is I'm going to uh, match up my grid to UDK's grid. If you don't know how to do this, I recommend watching my previous video on um, on how to set up a Softimage grid for UDK. Um, Alright, now with that size, I'm going to scale this sucker up, make sure I don't have that null selected. Yeah, that thing. I just want the low poly. Alright. Crank that sucker up. Let's go into front view. Shift A. Focus all. Make sure this is good to go. I'm also going to pull this menu back up, turn on my ruler for the orthographic views. And if you didn't catch what menu that was, don't worry, I will go over everything again. And I want this to be half of 96, so that's going to be like, what, 40, 48, or just, just under that. Let me lock my, uh... no, I want to scale uniformly. Let's see. Forty-eight, right? Yeah, it's a little bit too big. Right now it's sitting right at like fifty-seven and between that and fifty-seven point five. So a little bit less. Push that down a little bit. Zoom in, let's check this again. Ah, oh, darn it. Whatever. Even if this isn't right, I'm going to move on. Alright, that's pretty close to 48. Cool beans. Go back to the perspective. Line it up uh, to the origin of the stage where I want it to be. Just to eyeball it. Alright, that's looking pretty decent. Okay, now I'm going to exports. Export FBX. Overwrite this. Make sure I'm good to go. Oop, gotta put that 2012. Selection only. Ignore everything else. Alright, now I'll open UDK. Import. Grab your model. Let me make sure that says static mesh, my package. Okay. And drag and drop. Bam. There you go. That's uh that's how you do it in a nutshell. Now I'll get ready. I'm about to or hold on, I am about to, to go over it all again for those of you who did not catch all of that. Alright, yep, and it's right where I wanted it to be. It's right about halfway, or like half the size of a player. Alright, cool. Now Let's go back to Softimage. Um, again, I'm not going to go over how to set up the grid in this tutorial. You will just have to check out my other one. Okay. Um, for those of you who are interested in pulling up this ruler tool, you hit Control Shift S, and right under Show in this little menu, this little section right here. 
there's it's right here. It says ruler, top, front, side views, and turn that checkbox on. And there you go, you have a nice little ruler. Okay. Um also whenever you are whenever you are exporting models um, from Softimage or Maya or 3ds Max, they all export from the origin of the stage, like, I mean the center of the mesh in UDK is going to be wherever this model is right here, this model, wherever this is from the center of origin right there. So, if this sucker is right here or something, and then you were to export it, into U and then pull it up into UDK and drop it, every time you dropped it, it would end up landing right here. Every single time. It would kind of be in the stage, it would be difficult for the level designers to place it where they need to. It's just not fun. Not fun to deal with. You want to, you want your assets, your models, to be as easy and fun to work with as possible for the level designers. All right, and um, the best place to put your model and to put your asset is not directly in the center like this. You don't want it like dead center because then whenever they're dragging it around like let me go over to UDK real quick if it will open uh oh there we go and since I already fixed the the center for this um, it's kind of in the corner which is good because that way you can turn it around oops Flip it 180, and you can fit it right up against those walls, just like that, and it snaps nice and nice and easy. That's what you want. And if I had set up this candle holder to the origin of this stage, it would be snapping like into the into the wall, which is not good. It would it would look like this, which is obviously not what we want. That's no good. We want it like right there. Go back to Softimage. Also you want to uh, yeah, um, make sure that it is the right size of what you want. I already uh, I handled that by using the ruler tool and doing it half of the player size which is 96 uh, default UDK robot size um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else besides that I think I think that's it I mean it's a pretty simple process oh last thing let me go over the export menu that's really important export file export export FBX Overwrite that. All right. Now, pulls up this menu in the general tab. Make sure you have selection only again. And right here, I didn't go into much detail about this. Um, I chose the FBX plugin 2012 because I am working with a UDK version. Uh, I thought it might say it up there, but I'm U I'm working with UDK 2012, and it requires that FBX plugin 2012 version, that 7.2 version right there, or else it will not work. It will yell at you and tell you to fix it. Um, make sure geometry, hard edges are selected, you don't need cameras or lights, although since we're doing selection only, it should not even have camera or lights. Animation, again we don't have animation with this object, but if you do, keep them checked, if not, uncheck them and keep these checked. Do not uncheck these. And click OK. And it's that simple. You just go to UDK Content Browser Import 
grab the model. I'm going to rename this as an overwrite my old one. And that's it. It's really simple. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye.